Hello and welcome. You're watching the morning news show on CNN News 18. I'm Sakshi Singh Litter, and over the next 60 minutes, we'll be walking through all the nation's top headlines. At the top of this bulletin, we continue to stay focused on the biggest story of our country, which is about the Kerala blast. We have a big breaking news coming in that this is CNN News 18's mega exclusive. What we are learning is that all evidence and investigation have been concluded, and it suggests that Martin Dominic, in fact, is the person behind those Kerala blasts that happened yesterday, killing three people and injuring over 50 people. Now, top intelligence sources have told CNN News 18 that Martin Dominic is the person. who is responsible for these blasts that happened yesterday we have sufficient evidence to support these claims made by him on his social media profile as well he had serious differences with a jehova witness due to various reasons he wanted to teach them a lesson and then decided to do this act meanwhile the death toll has now increased to 3 this is the recent information that we have about those kerala blasts that happened yesterday at the jehova convention center in arnakulam of kerala we have cnn news 18's neetu joining us on the broadcast neetu what latest updates do we have about this man dominic neetu can you hear me I think there's some uh, disturbance with the connection with Neetu, but we'll bring you more details on that as and when we uh, reconnect those lines. Right now, what we are understanding is that this is CNN News 18's mega exclusive on those Kerala blasts. All right, we have CNN News 18's Neetu back with us on the broadcast. Neetu, I was asking, what are the latest updates that we have about this man, Martin Dominic? All right seems like some network connection over there we'll try to reconnect those lines but right now what we are learning and breaking to all our viewers is that this is CNN News 18's mega exclusive all the evidences and investigations that have happened so far now concludes that Martin Dominic is the person behind the Kerala blast that happened yesterday top intelligence sources are suggesting that this man named Martin Dominic is the person who was responsible behind these blasts that happened yesterday killing three people and injuring over 50 people we have sufficient evidence to in fact support his claims made by him on his social media profile in a video he confessed that he was responsible behind these blasts he had a serious differences with, uh, with jehova uh witnesses due to the various reasons he wanted to teach them a lesson and then decided to in fact conduct this act meanwhile the death toll as we said before has now increased to 3 and the people who got injured in these blast now stands at more than 50 evidence is now conclude that dominic in fact is responsible behind these attack that happened yesterday let's uh, walk you through some of the details that we have collected so far about these kerala blast that took place yesterday in arnakulam what we are breaking to our viewers is this is uh, this has been brought by top intelligence sources to cnn news 18 this is a mega exclusive that evidences are now suggesting that in fact this man named martin dominic is responsible for these acts that happened yesterday killing three people apart from that what we are also learning about this man is that evidence are there to support that his claims on the social media were made that he had some differences with this jehova committee which was conducting this uh, uh, event at the convention center where these blasts actually happened apart from that what we are also learning is that he had some differences with the jehova witnesses the community which was conducting an event yesterday at the convention center as reported by our correspondent we thought uh, we got to know that this in fact is an annual practice and it was a 3 day convention happening there at the convention center apart from that what we are learning about this man is that he wanted to teach this particular committee a lesson because he had some differences with the teachings they were telling there he also went on to say that in his social media video that he was upset because they did not uh, they don't sing national anthem and were teaching young people that they should not be singing national anthem as well now what has happened is that his phone has visuals of making bombs as well this is another 
inputs that we have just received. Remember, this is CNN News 18 mega exclusive. Apart from that, what we are also learning is that it was a locally made bomb. Remember, yesterday we told you that it was a low intensity bomb blast and now what we are understanding about the bomb that was used in these events that conducted yesterday is that it was a locally made bomb apart from that he made these bombs with potassium nitrate and oil we have cnn news 18's neetu back with us on the broadcast neetu what more details do we have about this man who was he why exactly did he conduct such kind of a heinous crime See, the crime, uh, the motive of his crime, he has clearly mentioned in this Facebook video. And now police sources have also confirmed to us yesterday evening itself that this, uh, they, they uh, have reason to believe, they uh, find that this guy itself is the accused because they have required, they have uh, acquired uh, video evidence, including the CCTV visuals. And uh, um, there, there were some videos that were seized from his phone also because uh, he went to the police station with evidence uh, to show that he did this is what uh, we are learning from sources. Yesterday itself we had reported that it was uh, uh, petrol that was used along with uh, um, a locally made a country bomb, uh, um, a cracker, a local made a cracker, a bigger one of that kind and it was remotely detonated. So this is something which uh, he uh, himself made is what we are understanding this. Uh, oh, we had uh, uh, given this news break yesterday itself to our viewers saying that this was indeed uh, how this was done. But officially so far, uh, the police have not yet confirmed as to this is the accused, but he is in their custody from yesterday evening. The questioning has been uh, uh, going on, but uh, officially the word coming in uh, even now from the police is that we are still investigating uh, into the claims made by him. The NIA team is also here. They are also questioning uh, the uh, accused. Right, Neetu. And yesterday what we broke to our viewers was that a suspected terror angle is being currently probed in this. In fact, all the angles, in fact, the band PFI is also going to be probed in this particular matter. Are those options still on the table? Are all those angles still being probed? No, that was initially when this had happened and the police had the bare minimum information that it was in a hall inside a convention centre where about 2,000 people were there in that centre. Uh, three blasts had happened. That is initially when they were looking into all angles. But post noon, uh, things changed with uh, Martin coming into the picture and uh, how they were finding more evidence uh, for uh, Dominic Martin doing it. So right now, the investigation is mostly on this line. Right, Neetu. Also, we want to understand from you the timing of this video that we found out on his social media profile. Did he post this video before this act was actually conducted or he confessed it after, uh, you know, such a huge thing came out in the light yesterday? He, con uh, he put out this video after the incident and after the death had happened a little later in the second half. And he went to the police station and surrendered himself in Trishur district. So he has put this after the crime, hours after uh, this crime has happened. All right. And what kind of uh, investigation is currently being conducted against him? Where is he right now at which police station? And what are the cops saying about the investigation so far? There is a special investigation team that is uh, investigating. The special investigation team uh, will be looking into it. Uh, but uh, led by ADGP Law and Order Ajit Kumar himself. They are, he, he was being questioned at the Kalamashiri AR camp uh, uh, from last uh, evening. Um, that is where he has been questioned by multiple agencies. The NIA team led by IG Vijay Sakre was also there. Uh, they have also questioned uh, the accused is what we are understanding. All right, Neetu, we'll request you to please stay with us because we have some reactions coming in on the same story. Let's take a look at that first and we'll come back to you. And very much. Ipol nada nado sambal juga asam, ni kalau lahir orang ni kanan mana jangan bicara sikit. Ya kau berdasar sihgal nara tiri na, kau itu kanan mesti ni, bombas potan mandang awal itu, 